like a beef tartare. That's not weird, right? It is weird. It is not weird. You just grew up in America, didn't you? We do that here. We forget that people eat all sorts of stuff. Um, you don't have it actually, it's really interesting. So there used to be a lot, we used to eat a lot more, a lot more different kinds of, uh, of proteins. And what happened was we became a really affluent society and we ate prime cuts, right? We started eating ribeyes and New York steaks and they're delicious, right? And we're psyched to eat them. But what happened is we forgot how delicious beef tongue and liver. And what happened was people who didn't have that kind of money, um, mostly immigrants to the United States, they started eating, they got all those pieces. And now we realize how delicious they are and now we're eating them. So, um, what? Oh, I got a comment. Um, so, so now we have all these, all these things that we didn't used to eat um, for a long time because we're kind of too good for it for a little while. Um, and then we realize these things are delicious, we start eating them again. So um, it's good, it's good. I always say that if, if there's something you think you don't like, keep trying it because if you like it, then there's one additional thing that you love in this world and that's awesome, right? Not a bad idea. All right, lamb tartare. I like to use leg. The reason I like to use leg is it's leaner. It doesn't have a lot of sinew in it. It doesn't have a lot of connective tissue, not a lot of fat. So it's really nice texturally. If I was at the restaurant, I might put this through a grinder, but not everybody has a grinder at home, so I'm gonna show it to you by hand. So before I make my board really dirty, I'm gonna build, that's how we call it in the industry, we call it building. We're gonna build um, our, our, uh, our flavors. Okay. So this is kind of cool. There's this guy in New York City, and he does, he makes spice blends, right? We've all had spice blends, you can buy them at the grocery store. His are the best in the world. He is so amazing. He travels all over the world to buy really unique spices. And this is one of his. Um, on the recipes that I have that you guys can have, I put his website because I think that it's, it's, just, it's so exciting. Um, this is called Vadavan. Anybody know what Vadavan is? I heard somebody knew it. What is it? No? It's curry. Uh, Vaudavan's really cool. It's a French-based curry. Can you see it's yellow? So it's, the base is fenugreek, right? So that's an, an Indian uh, 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 ingredient. But the reason that it's a French-based curry is it has onions and shallot and garlic in it. And it smells like curry, and it's amazing. I like to put it in our tartare with uh, lamb because I think it's just the most awesome flavor. So I'm going to start with a little bit of that in the bowl, okay? Then, lamb likes almonds a lot. So I try to think about those flavors that go together. So if I'm going to build a, uh, a tartare, maybe with fish that I want to be Asian, I'm going to use Asian ingredients because our, our tongues like those ingredients that go together really well because they're flavorful and they taste good. So almonds, I have these slivered almonds and they've been lightly, lightly toasted. When you toast almonds, you just want to toast them to release the, uh, the scent. You don't need to make them too dark because that becomes bitter on your tongue. All you really need to do is release the oils. So they're kind of big right now to put in tartare. So all I'm gonna do is crush them with my hand and put them in the bowl. That's easy prep, isn't it? Okay, simple knife work. Okay, then what I wanna do Here's gonna be the big knife on this project. Um, this is a 10 inch knife. I don't really recommend this for home. I think a six to eight inch knife is a really good one for home, but this is what I typically use. So in here, I'm gonna put a little shallot. Who remembers why a little shallot or onion is nice? Anyone? Are you guys listening to me? Flavor enhancer. Okay, so a little shallot or onion is really nice because it adds a little bit of power. It's gonna wake up your taste buds a little bit. Then, I'm gonna use, who knows what this is? Yes. I wish it were a cookie though. Okay, a little bit of orange. Lamb and orange is delicious. You don't need a ton, just a little bit. And a good little zester works nicely. All right, sea salt. I love sea salt. There are many, many kinds. Um, I forget sometimes which one I'm working with, and they all flavor food really differently. So just like anything else, add a little salt, taste, add a little salt. You can always add more, but you can't take away, right? So this sea salt 
is, uh, is Italian, and I really like it. It's really fine, and it tastes like the ocean. It's really clean. So a little bit of that. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Okay. And I'm going to add a little cayenne to this as well. I'm going to add a different oil, which I'm going to wait for a second. This is really unique. Who has canola oil in their house? Who has first press canola oil from Oregon in their house? That's awesome. This is a very unique product. It tastes grassy. That's cool. It tastes really nice with the lamb. All right, so I've got my lamb leg right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut slices, okay? This is the most work that you're going to have to do. That's not too much. I'm just going to cut slices, and then I'm going to cut some smaller slices. Can you guys handle this much? And my knife is good. This is called the Shun Blue. And this knife I use every day at work. Okay? Alright, so I've made my slices, right? And now, just like I did before with my lemon, I line them up and I'm going to just make smaller cubes. But because this is a little different, it's not as tender as the fish, right? The fish is really tender. This is not quite as tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my knife through it and just chop it up. I don't want to make paste. Paste is kind of gross, right? But I want to make some really small cubes because as I toss my small cubes with all those flavors that I just put in that bowl, it's going to be really, really tasty. Okay? Who thinks they would actually try this at home? You guys are awesome. Okay, so now I want a little lube, okay? It's like your engine, you need a little lube in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my first pressed canola. I don't know if you can see the color of that. It's amazing, it's so good. Okay. And I'm just gonna gently stir it. And you might wanna adjust some of the flavors based on what you like. You can put a little green onion in here, a little parsley. Okay, so I'm going to mix that up really nicely. And the way that I like to plate this one, and we serve this at Lincoln all the time. Sometimes beef, sometimes uh, lamb, different, different kinds of tartare. Okay, I made that into a nice little circle. I have these wonderful little pickled chilies. They're called the para peppers. You can use uh, any little pickled chili. And that's nice because it's got the acid, the vinegar from, from pickling, so it kind of brightens the meat. I'm going to take my egg. How about raw eggs? Do you eat sunny side up eggs ever? That's not cooked yet. i got to pick on someone. All right, so then I take my eggs, and I don't want that white because whites are pretty goopy, right? Don't throw away your whites because they're delicious when you make meringue cookies. All right. And then there's this really weird little attachment that's kind of white. And you're going to gently try to pick that out. That's the connector right there. That connects the, um, the yolk. So I'm going to make a little divot. I'm going to put my yolk right on top. And look how cute that is. How fast was that? Question? We're in Wall Lady. Do you have any questions? They're really simple, but the tools are important that you use using good tools, using sharp knives. Get your knife sharpened. Not everybody at home is expected to be a professional knife sharpener. Um, so, but the, the right tools really do a great job. And this is tartare season. It's really easy when it's nice and hot outside. You have cold meat right from the fridge. But buy it from a purveyor that you know really well, that you know is getting fresh meat, it hasn't been frozen first. And, um, and try it out. Is that good? Want some recipes? Yeah. I have recipes. Come on up if you want a recipe, and thank you so much for coming.